Hi, today we're going to set up the home page. Uh, we're going to set it up in the same, in a similar manner as the My Lifestyle Pro theme demo. But when you download the theme, you don't get all the plugins that are used on the demo. So it's not going to be exactly the same. Um, so we're going to dive right in into our dashboard and go to our home page and do a little bit of editing there. The first thing we're going to do is add a excerpt to the banner area here. The first thing we need to do is make sure our screen options are showing the excerpt area. In this case they're not, so we just check that box. Now we'll find our excerpt down towards the bottom of the page, right here. And we'll just say a little something about our socks. If I could type, that would be great. If we wanted, we could even put a button in this expert excerpt. And we'll go ahead and do that. I'm pretending a little bit here. All I have to do to make this basic href into a button is to add a class of button. All right, we'll update our page and see what changes have been made. All right, so we see now that we've got our excerpt test text in our banner, and you'll notice that our banner seems a little bit larger. The size of the banner is determined by the padding around this box. So the more you put in this box, the wider the banner, the taller the banner will appear because the padding remains the same, but the box is bigger. All right, let's go back and add some sections to our page. We have our first section ready to go and nothing is in it. So let's go ahead and just add some uh, decorative text similarly to the, uh, the demo. We'll put a little quote in here. Oh, and I need to make sure that I'm in the text editor if I'm going to use code, but I can also use the visual editor and use our toolbar buttons. probably enough. Let's make this italicized and maybe a little bit bigger. Update our page and take a look. Now we see just below our banner area we've got our text. I actually think I'm going to make that text centered and then we'll add another uh, section. All right, we'll use the Add Section button to add another section. Let's take a look at our demo and see what the next section there is. All right, it's our latest post, so we're going to use A, and it's in a slider. So we're going to create a slider grid of our latest posts. In fact, I'm just going to go here and grab the code right off this page and edit a little bit. You can get all the grid short codes from the My Theme demo on our support site at support.bizbudding.com slash mytheme. So I'll just paste it right in here. Um, I'm not going to exclude any categories. On the demo, our products are in the uh, recipes, rather, are in a category, um, and the category ID is 18. So in our latest post, we've excluded our recipes using the category ID but we don't have that set up on this site. Uh, number nine, we don't actually have nine posts, but this won't hurt the, the uh, code at all. It will just show the three that we have. We're gonna show the image, the title, the content, and the more link. Um, showing the content, we're gonna limit it to 30 characters. 
slider equals true mean will create a, the slider for us. Uh, once we've set slider equals slider to equals true, we can use our slider um, specific parameters like slide to scroll. That means that there will be three posts visible at any time in the slider. Uh, dots, this is also a slider uh, specific parameter, um, will be true. That will show us how many um, panels of the slider we have to go to cycle through. So we won't actually uh, see it here because we only have three posts, I think. Um, and center mode is true. That will center it along the in within the uh, section. And we'll give this section a, a title, uh, latest posts. And we'll update our page and take a look. All right, so now below our um, little quote, we've got our latest posts. Uh, we didn't add any content to our posts, so we don't see any content. Um, and we do, do have more than three posts, I guess. So we see that the slide to scroll um, works right to that basic hello world post that uh, WordPress creates for us. All right, let's go back to um, our theme demo and see what else we can make. So the next section on the demo has a little form. Uh, when you download the theme, you do not necessarily have any form plugin installed. So we also uh, won't be creating this form. We'll go ahead and put another little quote in this section, but we'll show you how to do the columns like on this page. If we go down to that section, we can just go ahead and copy the column short code that's used in the demo. Again, you can find all those codes on our support page. And we'll go ahead and add another section and paste it right in. So looking at this code, I should have pasted it in the text editor, so we'll do that again. Uh, we have created a column here, a center aligned column. Gutter equals zero uh, indicates the spacing between the two columns that we're gonna create in here. So they will be right next to each other with no space. Um, call image equals 618. We need to find the image ID of uh, an image that we want to use. We we'll use it in the featured image size. The short code closes out that column. Next column begins here. <clears throat> um, this is where our form is, so we don't actually have a form. Uh, so we can just, we'll just put a quote in here. Just delete the form and some of our extra space. We close out our div and close out our column and close out our column uh, short code. So we'll go ahead and update it and take a look at our page now. We didn't pick out of image ID, so we're just seeing a gray box here. Uh, there's our, our, our quote that we put in. So let's go ahead and find an image ID and replace that number. Go to our media library. And I think I like this one. So we'll just see what the ID is here. It's right up here in the URL. So the ID is 50. That's all we needed to know. We'll go back to our page. We're looking at section three here. We'll just replace 618 with 50. Change it to full width. Update our page. And see what that changed. All right, now we've got our full width uh, section there. This is looking uh, great, looking a lot like our demo. Let's take a look at our demo and see what the next section brings. So the next section is recipes. 
Uh, this is using the Cookbook plugin, which is a premium paid plugin, um, but and does not come with the theme. So we're not going to create this section. Um, it's very similar to our latest posts using a slider. Um, the same image and content setup, so we've already done that. Our next uh, section uses a background image, so we're going to create something like that. Um, and some more buttons. We've already created a button in our header, but we can go through that again. So let's go and add another section. And we're going to add a background image. We do that in the settings. So let's add from the media library. Go ahead and add. We use that one a lot, don't we? Let's, let's pick this one instead. All right, so now that's going to be the background of our image. Uh, we are we did use a box, so we're going to put a light box over that. Um, height can be auto. Content width, let's make it, eh, we'll just use the default. Uh, content alignment, definitely want that to be centered. And we'll make a little larger text size. So let's close this out. Scrolling all over the place. All right, and let's just go and grab the code right off the page here. And paste it into our section here. I'll just leave this text here. It's not about socks at all, but it doesn't matter. And let's take a look at our uh, href links here. Where they're just standard href links using the class of button to create those uh, beautiful buttons. And see how that changes things. All right, it's uh, clashing a bit with that, but I'm gonna leave it. Uh, normally we would have a the recipe section in between here. What I can also do is add um, a section, move the sections around so that they, they flow a little bit better. Let's see what our next section is here. More recipes, uh, just a background image, products, uh, products are created using WooCommerce. We don't actually have WooCommerce uh, included in the theme when you download it, so we're not going to create this um, section, but it would uh, use the Woo specific parameters of the grid command, um, grid short code that you can find on our support site. Testimonials is using my testimonials. Um, again, that is not included with the theme when you download it. It is available to purchase on mytheme.com. However, it is in beta, so the plugin file is not available yet. Um, but if you purchase it, we'll let you know as soon as it's available, and you'll be able to download it from your account page. And then we go right to the footer. So I think what we're going to do to make this site warm fuzzy socks look good with these two images right next to each other is add another, um, just a band of color. So we'll add another section at the bottom here but then we're going to move it up. So the um, download buttons are the bottom section and there's this blank section in between here. So let's give it a background color. Oh, maybe just a very, oh, how about we use our inspector and see what color this is. find a little color chooser box. Here we go. All right, we'll grab that color from here. And paste it right in here. Close that. Actually, I want to make sure that this is pretty, pretty small. Well, now yeah, we'll just make it default. And I definitely want to center it. Let's see, what do we want to put in here? Let's just do a title. Oh, 
why don't we add a call out and we'll move into the text editor and just erase that and add a call out with our call out short code. This is also included with my theme and you can learn more about it on our support site. Paragraphs. All right. Just clear it, close it, update. and take a look. Much better. All right, so let's take a look at our home page. It's looking very similar to the My Theme demo, and it is utilizing only the tools available with the download. Um, so we're going to stop here for now. Uh, we'll be making a couple more videos to show you how to create some other types of pages. Um, so Keep your eyes open for those uh, videos on our support site and on YouTube. Thanks for watching.